Okay, hello. Uh, hello everyone. This is a new video of my project, uh, Safe USB Key Project. Um, what I will show you right now is a new module I built for the, the project. It's called NeoPixel RPI Web Server. It basically is a web server that exposes uh, two web APIs. Uh, to get a HTTP API that allows you to control a NeoPixel uh, live strip board. So the code is over there on this page. And let's see better. It, it, you will find it in this, the description, the, the, in the address. And there is a um, documentation. Basically, you have to uh, plug the um, Raspberry Pi in this way. I use the Raspberry Pi Zero of W. It will work with the Raspberry Pi Zero, and of, I I think it will work wherever it uh, is. It, it is possible to run uh, Node.js. And so let's see how does it work. Um, so when you install the the server, you have to go to to git clone the repository. So basically, you have to do something like we show you. Let's copy and paste is this one and increase font size you have to do okay and you clone the repository it will load all the stuff and then here it will not work because uh, there is um, an architecture um, dependency. Um, the I use a, I use the a library that you will find the package JSON. This one, the RPI. This allows you to control the the LED strip and. So if I do npm install, it will download all the dependencies, but it will fail when it will run. The it will try to compile the the, the library dependency and it will fail. So it will load a lot of dependencies and then simply with node and NeoPixel server, you have to run it as root because it's a dependencies with the, the library and it will say that it will not work on this device so it will not work on other platform okay, it only but basically you have done so just to see some of the code there are two uh, the important stuff is there's num leds that you can pass to the command line uh, if you have another type of um, neopixel you can adapt try to adapt the code mm, for example if you have multiple led my mine was eight light and there are two API I built. The one is switch all off and the other one is change LED. And we will see later these two um, API. And then there is also a startup sequence code. So this is basically called at the startup and it changed in some way the you will see the 
exactly that. And then two, sorry, two utility functions. So we will see um, a video right now. And I will show you, this is the, the state of the project. I had also built the uh, an enclosure and I 3D printed it. And you will see on the sorry, it move a lot. On the right there is a LED strip, and on the left there is a button. And this is the setup sequence. And once it, it finished the setup sequence, it will blink just one LED. So we will see another video. And in this one, I will show the API working. First slide is the last. Sorry, okay. So the the pixel the LED start from the, the zero is this one and it will go down to the this one the, the one red the red one is the seventh LED and then with the simple HTTPI comments I switch to the um, the, the LED for example, let's see with the Firefox. It's just these kind of comments. So you can and you it's, I will show you. So at the beginning I just did this comment is HTTP comment and then I change it to this one and then again I change it to this one and I switch it off wait switch off which all off and then at the end I did this one. So I think try with command line and we have something in the history. But pull no. Okay, I don't remember the cool command but we can check. So cool activity get request. Cool. So blah 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 blah. Okay, just parameters. Let's try. I'm not sure. Because uh, I tried in the past and I think it's not just simple as that. In fact, it will not work like this. Maybe with this way. Yes. And right now, for example, there is a LED. I will show you it's a little bit of problem with the wirings. So, sorry. So, right now, there is a There is, oh sorry, where is it? Okay, 
show you. Okay. you see okay there is a green LED if we want to change it we can just change this let's make it red for example 250 okay and if I want to just shut all the LED off We can simply call the switch all off API, and that's it. So, if you want to use it and you all you have some requests, just write me in the comments. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. I will show more information of my CFUSB key project uh, in the next videos. I created some new script just to control the button. Right now the board is able to shut down completely by itself. Just simply push the button thanks to a Python script. And there is uh, other stuff I will show. And I, I did also a presentation at the uh, end summer camp in Venice last week and I will it was an Italian uh, presentation so that I will do the same presentation in English so bye bye